today we're going to be taking the Mini out for a mountain drive. Uh, our main purpose is we're trying to test out all of the things that we changed while I was home over break to see if everything's going to hold up and be ready to go to the track. Usually driving on track, you're anywhere from 8, 9, even 10 tenths on the car, whereas out on the street, if you're driving in the mountains or something like that, or a similar type of road, you're really only pushing like 6, 7, maybe 8 out of 10 tenths. You're really not trying to push too hard. So if you do find out that something is not working exactly how you want, you can just go back home tune it up a little bit, go back out, test it in the same environment. You're also going at much lower speeds, and you also really have no one in front of you or behind you pushing you like you do in a track day. You can kind of work up the speed as you go. You also get some regular city miles on before that, so it's a good way to work your parts up slowly and surely, and then get on track and not waste your track weekend because there was something small that you could have fixed at home that you can't fix at the track. And while a lot of people do drive quickly in the mountains or canyons or whatever twisty road options you have in your area, just remember to be smart you're on a public road so don't try and do it where there's people's houses or wherever people might be you know going early in the morning on like a Sunday morning is really a good option because there should be less traffic you know people usually aren't out and about yet so anything you can do to minimize risk and remember keep it slow you're not trying to push yourself to the ragged edge so I'm gonna be pushing the car a little bit but not a whole lot I've also driven this road back and forth I don't know probably a dozen times maybe more so I know it decently well of what corner is coming next what the car can and can't do and of course the car keeps getting better and better as we upgrade it so we're going to test out these tires test out our suspension see how we're doing before we go to atlanta motor sports park and really push the car so i've got a gopro inside the car and i've got one on a windscreen this is my first time trying to windscreen mount so if the footage doesn't come out exactly how i want it i am sorry about that we're currently parked at a trailhead right at the beginning of the road, so I'm going to sit here, let a nice gap form in case anybody does come by, and then go out, do a little blast out and back just to push the car, and we'll do a little wrap-up at the end. Unfortunately, it did rain last night, so the streets are still just a little bit damp, so I will have to back it down one or two notches, but it should still be a good test for the car, and I'd rather do it when there's less traffic and the road's a little bit damp than more traffic with a dry road. And because we have our deadline of when we are going to the track, this is really my only opportunity to test the car. So we'll get everything loaded back up in the car, and we will get rolling.
can see, it really doesn't take a whole lot. I mean, that was maybe, what, 10 minutes total out and back. It really wasn't a whole lot of driving, but it doesn't take much to push the car to its limits really quickly, figure out if there's something wrong. If something is wrong, it's really probably going to pop up in the first minute or two. If it can last longer than that, it's probably okay. There's a very narrow margin of things that will last 15, 20, 60 minutes. You know, it's either going to break because it is wrong or it's going to last because it's right. So you don't have to push very hard. I wasn't running this thing out the red line. I wasn't pushing it at three or four times the speed limit. I was just pushing it enough. Most of it is in the turn. So even going around the turns at their suggested speed is still going to be pushing the car harder than if you're just commuting back and forth to work. So it doesn't take a whole lot. You know, be respectful. You know, think before you act you are on a public street don't cross the double yellow you know don't be whipping around blind turns crazy fast because if you mess up and somebody's coming the other way you know you could kill somebody so be smart you know test at the right time test at the right level access to an autocross that's also a good way to do it the problem with that is if something is wrong you don't really have enough time to stop fix it and then go back out and do another run all your runs are at the same time in a short period of time you have a couple minutes in between max maybe 10 minutes so it's not a whole lot of time to do things other than simple stuff like tighten lug bolts or you know if you have like a hose blow off you can fix that pretty quickly but other than that your whole autocross is either going to go well or it's going to be wasted on fixing that one problem if you have other problems you know you're, you're kind of out of luck so just think about it the worst case scenario you go to your track day you have to fix it there are a lot of people there to help you if you love driving in the mountains or any sort of twisty road anything that is you know a beautiful scenery combined with a great road is a wonderful experience but at the same time it will never be a replacement for me for the track it's where i prefer to be it's just i can't always afford to be there i also don't always have the time to be there so i'm excited to go to the track next week i'm excited to see what this thing is going to do so stay tuned for that that will not be the very next video that'll be in two weeks because we'll have a random video in between. But I will see you guys at Atlanta Motor Sports Park. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those below and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next week.